Hey guys, it's Autumn at Just Move Fitness, and today we're going to do a HIT workout. HIT stands for High Intensity Interval Training. Um, and with that said, I will be giving options along the way for uh, lower impact, but that does not mean low intensity. So your goal with this workout will be to push yourself to your limit and recover in between the exercises so you can come back strong for what's to come, okay? So here's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna go ahead and start warming up, and as we are warming up, I will explain our workout. You have a watch and you would like to get that started go ahead and do so now for right now just getting the body warmed up pull your heels up behind you open up the hips you're welcome to use your arms for a little upper body as well today is october 6th we are going to have six exercises today and they will be done a few different ways the first way we're going to go through them as a circuit for 40 seconds and then i will pair up the exercises we will go through those twice for 30 seconds and then we finish with three exercises at a time for 20 seconds take it into the transverse plane side to side here leading with your thumb pivoting on the balls of your feet you are welcome to do a longer warm-up if you would like you're going to take your feet below your hips stand up nice and tall hinging forward from the hips pushing your tailbone up and shifting backwards into your heels waking up the hamstrings and glutes Try to tighten up through the upper back. Keep your shoulder blades pulled together. Belly buttons up nice and strong. Let's do one more. You're gonna put your feet below your hips, come up to your toes and back to your heels. You are welcome to do tiny hops if you're ready. If you're not ready, you can shift side to side or stay right here. Your body, your workout. Once again, I want you to take it out of your comfort zone, but be aware of ranges of motion that are hurtful to your joints. All right, take it down to a squat. We're gonna move a little faster this time, down and up, dropping through the hips, keeping your chest lifted. Option to stay right here without lifting up to your toes. Side to side, step touch. Knees are forward, toes are forward. Add a reach, option to cross the foot behind or you can stay right here, feeding, feet coming together. Just warming up the heart rate, warming up the joints. Hope everybody's having an awesome day so far. Take it into a jumping jack option. Step touch here, or you can be right here with me. Up to you. Soft on the knees, heels tap on the outside. 10 more seconds. Don't peak quite yet. We're just getting the heart rate ready. Three, two, and one. Shake it off. I think we lost the background music. That's totally fine. We can still get this in. You can use some music at home. We're gonna mimic one of our workout exercises, but we're gonna go slow and controlled to get the movement pattern down. Feet are gonna be wide. We're gonna drop through our hips, put our hands on the floor or mat, walk our hands out to a plank position. Hands are wider than the shoulders. Knees or toes, one push up. Walk your hands back towards your feet, heels on the floor. For now, circle the arms up and back down. Let's stay here for about 15 seconds, nice and controlled. We'll only get in a couple reps, taking it to the knees if you need. If you want to, you can always sit back into child's pose for now. But when we get to the bear crawl, try to walk your hands back towards your feet, keeping your hips low. Five more seconds, whatever you can get in five seconds. Three, two, and one. Go ahead and bring it up out of the bear crawl. We're gonna get started. Six exercises, we're gonna get to know these really well today. First exercise for 40 seconds will be a squat, a lunge, and a kick. So let me demonstrate, and then I'll start our clock. Standing up tall, we're gonna squat, take one of our feet behind us, lunge, and that foot will kick through. Squat, other side, lunge, kick. In three, two, one, Let's move, here we go. Chest is lifted, it is your first set. So if you wanna take it slow and controlled, that's totally fine. Good, as you kick, make sure you're leaning backwards, keeping your spine long. Turn to the side here. On your lunge, spine is up tall. Weight is in the heels of your feet on your squat. Arms can be doing whatever they would like to do, it does not matter. Option to stay low. Option to speed it up. This is a HIIT workout. All right, your body, your workout, seven more seconds. Good job, you guys, knees above the ankles. Keep working for three, for two, and 
time, shake it off. You have a 20 second break. Exercise two, I just showed it to you. It's the bear crawl push up, and we're gonna add a jump squat at the end. In eight seconds, we start. Catch your breath and your nose out your mouth. Three, two, one, let's move. Bear crawl it out as fast as you feel comfortable. Push up on the knees or the toes. Walk your hands back towards your feet. Chest is up, jump squat, get right back into it. On your jump squat, keep your knees soft. And as you land, moving smoothly through the motion, land soft in that perfect squat position. Here's an option for you. Knees to the floor, take your push up from the floor, walk it back, drop your heels, lift. Come on, you guys, no excuses, just move. Do your best. Ooh, I kind of got quiet without that music. Three, two, and time. All right, take a breather. You've got a 20 second break. Third exercise, transverse squat jack, fast feet. <laughs> All right, team, you gotta focus here. Feet are gonna be wide. Watch option one, shoulders do not rotate. You're gonna take your feet, you're gonna cross them in front, land here, fast feet, let's go. Cross the feet, land right here. So your shoulders don't turn. Keep your shoulders forward, squat, cross, land, fast feet. Here's some options, keep moving. Here's your option, feet never cross or take out the impact. Just move, come on you guys, keep pushing. This ought to be uncomfortable. You can be here, here. Maybe you can take a little break and then get right back into it. Keep going, 10 seconds. Learning the movement pattern, making sure there's no pain. Three, come on you guys, two, and rest. Okay, pike to T rotate. Now this, we're gonna slow it down and get this movement pattern down well, okay? You have 10 seconds to rest, hands below the shoulders. Feet are wider than your hips, hands directly below the shoulders. Push your tailbone up and back. Come back to your plank position, rotate up. Watch it again if you need to see it again. Hike, back to a plank, T rotation. Here's an option for you. On the knees, child's pose. You can lift the leg of the arm that's gonna reach, come up above the shoulder. Lengthening through the spine, always coming back to your perfect plank position. Lifting your belly button up towards your spine. <sighs> Focus and breathe. This should feel like a break, but it should still feel like work. I'm gonna call this exercise active recovery. Keep moving, you guys. Three, two, and one. Up to our feet. Exercise number five. We are getting there already. Lateral lunge to jumping jack. You're gonna take a big step out. Toes are forward, outside leg bends, inside leg is straight. You're gonna push off that outside foot. Jumping jack of choice and switch. We're on you guys. Watch it again. Feet are a little bit wider than the hips. However, don't do such a big lateral lunge that your knees and your toes turn out. Keep your toes forward, shift over to the hip. Inside leg gets a stretch. Option for your jumping jack. Or if your heart rate's not elevated, throw in a couple fly jacks. I'll show that one again. You load, you explode. Come on, you guys, push. This ought to be challenging for you. Focus and commit. Three seconds. Two, finish up the one you're on and rest. Take a breather, your heart rate should be up. Shuffle, throw. You should have some room to move laterally. Imagine you have a heavy medicine ball. You're gonna shuffle to the side, throw it. Throw it, okay? Rotating and pivoting off of your back foot, let's go. Throw it as far as you can go. Get creative, maybe you wanna throw it down low. Come on. If it bothers your knees, you can always stay right here without rotating. Come on, get low, move far. Halfway. What do you have in your tank? The first circuit is almost complete. You're gonna have a 20 second break. Then I'm gonna pair up these exercises. We're gonna go through them twice each. 30 seconds each. Keep working, hold on, keep breathing for three, two, 
Take your break. Take your break. Heart rate should be up. Check your watch if you have one. Should hit a peak. You'll know because it should be hard to talk. If you can carry on a conversation comfortably, you do not push yourself hard enough. But I've got a good, I've got a good, I've got good news for you. You have another shot. Ten seconds. We're gonna pair these two up. Squat lunge kick with the bear crawl push up plyo. Are you ready? Are you set? In three, two, one, go. Squat, lunge, lean back from the side. Squat, lunge, lean back. Now, if you know that lunges bother your knees, lunges are about 90, 90 at the knees, spine is long, make it a crouch or a short stride lunge where you get more glute work in and there's less pressure on the knees. Come on, you guys, 10 seconds, it's a lot quicker. But you, so is your rest, your rest is quicker. Five seconds, Whew. tighten up through the middle, three, two, and done. Okay, bear crawl, push up plyo. If you have your back tightened up throughout the workout, you can always stand up and do some cat cows. All right, you can twist through your spine, take care of your body in three, two, one, let's go. Drop through those hips, shoulders are away from your ears, hands are wider than the shoulders, elbows move away from the body, drop your hips, bend your knees, up you go, soft on your landing. Option to take it to the knees. You can even stay on your knees as you bear crawl back. But then ask yourself, am I taking this as a recovery or am I really still challenging myself? All right, come on, keep it up. Three, two, get one more push up. And if you're here, done, walk it back. Okay, we're gonna go through those again. Squat lunge kick, heart rate is up. Shift your weight, you've got 10 seconds. Pin your nose out your mouth, wiggle your fingers. Roll your wrists in three, two, one. Core strong, let's go. Squat, lunge or crouch, kick forward. Kick with the balls of your feet and it's not about how high up you kick, okay? At the knee is fine. Leaning back with a long spine and your standing legs, you get a hip flexor stretch as you lean back. Come on team, keep going, 12 seconds. Whatever your hands wanna do. I like to put my hands here, it helps to keep the chest lifted, but it's your body, it's your workout. Three seconds, come on. Two, get one more in. Done, find your mat, find some space. Bear curl, push up, plyo. I'll face this way. Heart rate should be up. In your nose, out your mouth. Ready, set, commit 30 seconds. Drop through your hips, knees or toes. Push up, moving your body in one long plank, walk it back, soft on your landing. Listen to your body, what do you need? Your push-ups do not have to be all the way to the floor, 90 degree elbow flexion or less is totally fine, you guys. Do your best, even if you're here. You're still moving, you're still working. Five seconds, what do you have? Three, two, time. Check, check. Okay, grab some water. Breathe. Next pair of exercises, we have the transverse squat jack to fast feet, followed by the pike to T rotate. So a couple of options, if you're thinking being in that plank position bothers your wrists, bothers your shoulders. If you have an incline, a step, whatever that might be, you can use a step or even a very sturdy chair. I will demonstrate that when we get there. Transverse squat jack to fast feet. Feet wide, chest up. Three, two, one, go. We're right here. Cross it, fast feet. Other way. Remember, you're turning your hips, not your shoulders. Okay, come on. Twist it if it bothers your hip or your knee. Feet together or take out the impact. Come on, you guys, push, push, push. The lower you go, the harder you work. 10 seconds. Soft on the feet, get low. Think, hot, 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 hot. Three, come on, two, and time. All right, I'm gonna set you up on the floor and then I'll show you the option if you need it. 
hands below the shoulders. Feet are gonna be wide. Chest is between your thumbs. Hike, bringing your ears to your biceps. Come back to your plank. T rotate, knees or toes. You're on. I'm gonna show you an option. It needs to be a sturdy piece of equipment. A chair, make sure it's nice and sturdy there. You could be right here, pushing back and then rotate. Whoa, don't do that, see? See how it's wobbly? You gotta test it out. Reach it up, okay? Up you go, test it out. If it's wobbly, hold here. Biceps to the ears, coming back to your plank. If it bothers your wrists, you're right here. The wider your feet are, the better base support you have. Three, two, time. All right, you guys, moving along. Who's working? You ought to be working. These are not that long of a workout, so you've got to just dig in, do your best. Transverse squat jacks to fast feet. Three, two, one, move. Quick, quick, quick. Yep, yep. Remember your options. Whatever your hands want to do does not matter. Taking out that impact if you need. Listen. Come on, quick, quick, quick. Can you get deeper? Can you move faster? Seven seconds. Five seconds. I heard my shoelace come and tied. Safety first. Rest. Let me tie that. Set up your pike on the floor or add an incline. Your choice. Do your best. What's going to challenge you? Ready? Set. Go. Feet are wide. Push back. Always coming back to your perfect plank. Fingertips above the shoulders. Catch your breath. Once again, you're gonna master these exercises. Feel them out. Try out a harder option. Maybe next week, work your way up to it. You have to start somewhere. And it's important to mentally know that sometimes we have to regress an exercise in order to progress at it, okay? We've got to start somewhere. Rest. All right. Last two exercises paired together. Get some water. It's hot. Hard work pays off though, right? We ought to be uncomfortable. Lateral lunge to jack. Two exercises in one. Stand tall. In three, two, one. Let's go. Lateral lunge, pushing off the outside foot. Jumping jack. Now, this is our... Second time doing this exercise, if you're noticing any knee pain or pressure on your lateral lunge, make it a squat and then a jack of choice. Squat, jack of choice. All right, never working through pain. If your muscles are getting tired, dig deep. Come on, think about your goals. Three seconds and time. Last exercise, shuffle throw. You can throw 90 degrees. You can throw straight forward. You do what's best for you. Are you ready? Are you set? Feet wide, pick up your medicine ball, move, shuffle, throw it, throw it with a little bit of power. It's a heavy ball. Toss it. You're trying to get it over to your partner. Boom. Boom. And if it bothers you to turn, stay here. Look, you never even have to jump. Okay, but you could. Yep, come on you guys. Eight seconds. Exhale as you rotate. Three, two, leave it there. All right, let's do it again. Here's where we should wanna walk away from it. And this is why I love training in groups. Because in class, this is where we motivate each other and we say, you've got this. Lateral lunge to jack. Come on, you guys, let's go. Lateral lunge, jack of choice. You know your options. Lower impact, but not lower intensity. Keep moving out to the side. Or if you've got it in yet, let's move, come on. You won't know until you try. Eight. Seven, 
six, all the way to the finish line. Time. Okay. Shuffle, throw. Take this opportunity to breathe. And your nose out your mouth. Move your neck, open and close your arms. Pick up your heavy medicine ball, whatever weight that is for you this morning. Pick it up, shoulders back. Move, shuffle, toss it, toss it. Okay, hold it at your chest, power through. Boom, maybe you don't go as far. If you don't have a lot of space, you're side to side here. 15 seconds, you should be uncomfortable. Try not to slow down, okay? Come on, 10 seconds, eight. So that you want to take a break team, three, two, one more, leave the ball there. Check it off. Okay, so we would be okay stopping there. Full body, hit training, you got your cardio in, that's great. But if you wanna put that extra little cherry on top this morning or this afternoon or this evening, we're gonna do three exercises and then three exercises. 20 seconds each, two sets. Okay, quick sip of water if you need it. This is it. Squat, lunge, kick, 20 seconds. In three, two, one, go. Fine guys, this is it. This is where we empty the tank. If you wanna focus more on strength, stay low. You never have to kick. Notice here, I lifted my leg up and held it to balance, okay? Your body, your workout. Shoulders back, chest is up. Dig in through your heels, boom. Hey, guess what? Check, check. Bear crawl, push up, plyo. With your matter on the floor, and an incliner on the floor, let's move. Bear crawl, on your knees or on your toes. Quality of movement over quantity, especially now. You're gonna get tired. Your body is gonna get fatigued. Mentally prepare for that and be okay with being tired. Come on, you guys, three seconds. Time, walk it back. We're gonna go through, oh, I'm sorry, transverse squat jack fast feet. Oh, you ready? You ready? Come on. Ready, set, go. Transverse, fast feet. What do you got? What do you got? If there's pain, don't cross your feet. If the impact bothers your joints, take out the impact. Don't take out the intensity. Seven seconds. <sighs> Hips back, spine long. Wait for it, let it go. Okay, we're gonna go through that one more time. <sighs> Squat, lunge, kick, heart rate is up. Squat, lunge, kick. And your nose, out your mouth, ready? Come on, you guys, this is it. In 20 seconds, this will be a memory, okay? But don't let it get sloppy. Come on, focus. Focus on quality of movement, not quantity of reps. Three seconds, it's over. Boom! Second exercise, bear crawl, push up, plyo. Let's go, come on you guys, remember, you can walk it down to the knees, hands wide. You can stay right here. If this is gonna empty your tank this morning or this afternoon, you can probably tell it's morning for me. Moving that chest right between the thumbs. Couple seconds left and it's over. Transverse squat jack, fast feet. Breathe. I gave you a little longer rest because you came from the floor to a standing position. Three, two, if you're ready, come on. Transverse, fast feet. Find that rhythm and just go for it. Whatever your hands wanna do. Don't forget those options. There's no excuses, you guys, just move. Come on, five seconds. Three, two, get one more in. Call it, boom, okay. Three exercises left. Pike to T rotate. On the floor, on a step, wherever you need to be. Get into your plank position. 20 seconds of work. Ready, set, go. Hands here. Come on, you guys, feet are wide. You can hold a plank the whole time. 
If your wrists are tired, you can always come down to your elbows and hold a forearm plank. Just move, come on, eight seconds. Breathe, lift your belly button to your spine. Done, walk it in or get out, get out of that position however you can. Lateral lunge to jack. Lateral lunge to jack. Ready, set, go. Lateral lunge, jack. Peek in on your toes. Are they staying forward? Check in on your joints. Are they causing you any pain? Remember, we are moving for a purpose. We are moving to be better at the things we love to do in life. Come on, you guys, seven seconds. We want to get stronger, more efficient with our breathing, more efficient with our workouts. Rest. Shuffle throw. So we're probably gonna work all the way up, I keep watching the clock, to our 30 minute mark. So you may have to stretch mostly on your own, but don't forget to stretch. Shuffle throw, let's go. Exhale, let that ball go. Now I know we're getting tired. If this is the best you have, own it. It's better than doing nothing. But if you can dig a little deeper, dig, dig. Come on, three seconds, boom. One more, leave it, leave it, leave it. We've got one more set to do of those three exercises and you're done. Take a breath, five seconds, pike to T rotate. Let's get there team. Hands below the shoulders, fingertips out, feet wide. Let's move, push back, come back to your perfect plank, lift up. Remember, knees to the floor, child's pose back. You ought to be feeling challenged. Notice this is not a super fast movement pattern. I want you to think about controlling the movement. Guess what? It's done. Walk it up. A little longer break because you came from the floor to standing. Continue to breathe. Make sure you're not dizzy. Lateral lunge to jack of choice. Go. Lateral lunge. Jack of choice. You're emptying out your tank, you guys. Whatever is left in your gas tank this morning. Come on. If you've got a lot left, own it. If you don't have a lot left, still own it. Come on, you guys, three seconds, two, and time. Final exercise, shuffle and throw. 20 seconds of work and we're done. Find some room, pick up your heavy ball. Shoulders back, core strong. Guys, girls, move, push. Release your heel. It's very important you release your heel, pivoting on your toes so your knee doesn't get caught. 10 seconds. Quality of movement. Seven seconds. Three, two, everybody do one more. Leave it there, leave it there, leave it there. Okay, we literally have just a couple seconds left. Open and close your arms. Let your heart rate come down. Fantastic job. Shift your weight side to side. If you need more stretches, please take more time to stretch. Take a deep breath in. Exhale down. Little transverse motion side to side. Face me up and overhead laterally. I hope you all enjoyed that hit workout. It's one of my most favorite ways to work out. Any way you move is good but that is one way to get in a short, quick workout and check that off of your to-do list. I hope you all felt successful there. Walk your hands down, nice flat back, round your spine, round your shoulders, lift up through your back. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for checking out my video. Have an awesome day and I hope to see you all back very soon. Take care.